Now in its fifth year, the Junior Invitational at Sage Valley continues to impress all. Hello and welcome to GolfWeek.com, I'm Lance Ringler. And in my fourth visit to this marquee event, I too give it two thumbs up. But let's hear what the players have to say. It is such a lovely place. The course is uh, beautiful. I haven't played a course this beautiful and challenging before. So nice, you know, the trees and everything. Just the scenery is really nice. And it's always in great condition. I had a handful of friends talk, uh, play in it last year, and uh, they talked a lot about how good uh, the course was and how great the hospitality was. But it's um, everything and more. Kind of what you get when you come here. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's no doubt the best tournament I've ever played in. It just felt like we were at Augusta National, and um, it was pretty cool. Looking at the day one leaderboard, we see a familiar name at the top. Tied for the lead with a 3 under 69 is University of Florida recruit Sam Horsfield. Playing in his fourth junior invitational, his previous best finish was a tie for second two years ago. He hopes to make his final appearance here at Sage Valley even better. Yeah, I, I kind of scheduled it that way. I wanted to end my career, you know, here, junior career here. You know, all in all, it was a great day. You know, I made a couple of great birdies and a couple of silly bogeys. But, you know, I'm just going to keep playing the way I am and hopefully I can keep it up. Um, you know, obviously it would be great to win, but I just want to go and play my best and see what happens. Sharing the lead with Horsefield is Sweden's Marcus Kenholt. Yeah, I feel like we, we did a good job today, me and my caddy Daryl. He's helping me a lot, so I'm really happy. And uh, yeah, this is a tournament that everyone you know, speaks about, and uh, yeah, it's real cool to be here. In all, just six players broke par here on day one and a pair of players are just one shot back. But the common theme here in the first round was to remain patient. Coming into this tournament, seeing the scores last year, only five under one, I'm like, okay, eh, just keep it around par. Just, if it gives it to you, take it. Um, I just told myself going into the back nine, you know, finish strong, get something in the red numbers. Um, just stayed patient, rolled in some putts, and uh, you know, I was satisfied with two under. And it just demands so much. You you have to hit a good shot every single time, and uh, that's that's really nice. Yeah. I just got my game to where it's good, and I mean I'm actually competing with all these. I mean these kids are good. I mean they ain't no joke. For continued coverage of the Junior Invitational here at Sage Valley, GolfWeek.com has everything you need.